and Agus community. Welcome to this next video. I'm Benjamin and I'm here to make sure you get the most out of your core services platform distribution and your XI deployment. So by now you've installed XI, you've used configuration wizards to start monitoring hosts and services, but now as alerts are generated, you need to find out about those. That's where notifications come in. An alert is an internal mechanism. That's when a status changes in Nagios XI. A host could all of a sudden go from up to down or at least warning and from warning to critical or even from critical to okay. Those are all alerts because the status has changed. That's internal. But how do you know about it? Well, that's external. So that's how Nagios can be configured to notify you. So if you're out golfing, taking your kids to a special program, or you're on the job doing something very important and mission critical, Nagios will look out for your back and watch your IT infrastructure and only let you know when the most critical things that you wanna know about happen. So notification is external. When something happens, you should know about it. So let's jump into our Nagios XI instance and we'll configure notification settings and email settings to make sure you know what's happening. So from your Nagios homepage, let's go. We'll click over here to the far left and click on the account icon. And then from there, we'll click on notification methods. And there's two methods here. You can get emails or a text message. So here you can choose which ones you're gonna get. Here you can enter a phone number, choose a network carrier, and then click the button saying get a verification key. Enter the key and then verify. Once you're verified, you can get text messages as well. All right, so those are the two methods. Now let's check the notification preferences so you can configure what alerts you actually want to know about. Under email, right now it's set up to get every kind of alert emailed to me, and I've configured high priority emails for host down and service critical. Under the text message side, I don't want to know about every little thing, so I've just configured host down, host unreachable, and service critical. Everything else can go to email. Also, under time periods, you can choose when you don't get a notification. I don't want to be bothered on Sunday for anything, so I've changed my Sunday time from 24 to all zero. The rest of the week's fair game. I want to know about it. So I've made those changes and I've clicked update settings. Now, you've configured your notification options I'm gonna show you where to make sure your email is connected so that way Nagios XI is sending emails correctly. To go there, go over to the left icon and find the admin icon, select that, and then go to the system config menu and find email settings. This is where you configure your outbound and inbound email capabilities. Under outbound, you can go down here and change it from send mail to Gmail with OAuth2, and you can configure your Google Cloud Client ID and secret settings. Connect that and make sure Nagios XI is sending you the emails that you care about. Check out these settings, get them configured, and then let's go on to the next video where we tell you all about the great support resources available so you can make sure you never have a problem monitoring your IT infrastructure. Thanks for watching, like this video, subscribe to our brilliant YouTube channel, and keep monitoring. We'll see you soon.